A long time ago, when animals could speak, there lived a widow. What's up, MTV's my crib? <laughs> she had a cottage and two daughters. But who cares about daughters when you have a cop like Chance Clip? <sighs> he was a rooster of noble stature, golden wings, a jet black beak, and a crow that worked better than any alarm clock. Cock a doodle doo! He was known for his cocky doodle doo, and he loved the attention. He wasn't only in love with himself, though. A hen named Pertilo was the love of his life. And they lived happily ever after. Unfortunately, that is not the end. For one night, when all the... Dude, I'm skipping stuff. No, right here. <laughs> when all the hens were tucked into the hen house, Chancellor had a horrible nightmare of a fox who was trying to kill him. Cock a doodle doo, this fox is a fool! Pertilot tries to comfort him, but Chanticleer feels very strongly that his dream will become reality. Pertilot, have you not seen Final Destination 1 through 4? <laughs> this is the same thing. Death is coming to get me, girl. Pertilot rolled her eyes and slapped Chanticleer with her <laughs> wing. Hush up and stop getting so scared. Take some of these herbs and let's get this hen house back. <laughs> Although the dream was forgotten for the night, a day in May came where a fox began to follow Chanticleer. <laughs> oh my god, the crow is so fabulous! <laughs> Dang! This fox likes my crow. I mean, what else is new? As Chanticleer was closing his eyes and opening his beak, the fox snatched him and dragged him into the woods. Can't catch me. Once Pertilo figures out what has happened, she starts to make a commotion. Cock a little do, his dream has come true! The widow hears the desperate calls and makes a mad dash after the fox before the fox begins. Oh. oh. What the heck is that fox doing with my cock? Chanticleer, who was in the mouth of the fox, suggested that he brag that they will not catch him. Can't catch me. Can't see me. The fox opens his mouth, <laughs> and Chanticleer is free. The rooster climbed to the top of the tree, and although the fox persistently flattered Chanticleer to make him come down, Chanticleer never budged. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, girl. Hey, moving. <laughs> I mean, I am pretty great, but this is the last time I'll need someone else to tell me. Because, you know, never trust a flatterer. That's the moral of the story.